So the next section is around advertising. The first section we have is the advertising snapshot. And this is more of an area into like acquisition almost, uh, gives you a bit of insights into channel formats. So you have the conversions by your default channel group, um, which you would have seen before in acquisition. And then you have conversion paths, which looks at direct, um, or looks at def default channels again, and the total volume of conversions. However, we do get into more detail into that in a separate report. So if we go on to all channels, we then get a view which is similar to the acquisition view, but we do have some more information in here. So you can see that there's the number of conversions, look at that channel over time at the top, and we have the conversion, and we have the channel groups at the bottom of the table. However, we have conversions, but we also have a new measure, which is advertising cost. So the advertising cost from Google Ads will actually be pulled into this report, and that can be demonstrated within this, this report that you see here. So across the network, you can see the actual advertising cost for that, uh, which gives you a view of cost per conversion, total revenue, and return ad spend will be um, revealed within here as well. So this can be fairly useful once you connect Google Ads to GA4 because then you can start to see some of that cost, those cost metrics pulled in and visualized within this report here. So within model comparison, GA4 provides a comparison of different attribution models and you can see within this report how it impacts your data and how it impacts your, your channel's um, performance. So we have on the left hand side here, so you have attribution model, which is non-direct cross channel last click model. And then you have the attribution model, which is the data driven model rather than the last click model. And in here you can see the difference between the two. So you can see whether there's any difference in allocation to conversions by channel and it actually shows you the percent difference as a result. So you can see that on the data driven model, there are 0.3% less conversion attributed to organic search than there are on the last click model. And you can see that versus the revenue difference as well. You can change it to have different views in here. So if you want to look at first click instead, you can change that and then you'll see the difference in the attribution models. This just essentially gives you that ability to look at different attribution models and how it impacts your data. So you can see um, attribution models, last click, first click, linear, position based, time decay, and then you can look at ads preferred last click attribution model um, if you so wish. So the conversion path sections shows you the breakdown of each conversion step based on the attribution model. So in this instance, we're looking at the data driven attribution model, which gives specific weightings to each touch point. So in this example, the early touch points have got about 9% of the weighting, the mid touch points have got 13%, and then the late touch points have got around 77% of the weighting. So this means that early touch points get a lower attribution of conversions, versus the late touch points we get to the higher, highest attribution of conversions. So if we change this to last click, for example, 100% of the attributions go to the late touch points. And if you change it to first click, 100% of the early touch points gets the attribution. Whereas Google's data-driven model, it's split differently as a result. So the table below shows the breakdown of the, each default channel grouping by its number of conversions, but also by its touch points. So for example, we know that sessions or users that had one direct touch point had 172 and a half thousand conversions and cross network had 70 almost 78,000. however users that had four organic touch points uh, had 18,683 conversions so what this does is it shows you the total number of conversions and the revenue per channel also per touch point as well which is why you have organic search which is just one touch point and then organic search times four where users had four touch points with organic. So it just gives you better context and greater context into how often users are coming to these individual channels and how much that equates to the conversions and the revenue that your business gains as a result.